on today's episode of Dapper Daniel. This home is gonna be a Meritage Reynolds floor plan. This one has a small covered porch area here. Ceilings actually go up pretty high, which is kind of nice that they added that window up there as well to bring in some more light. This is the kitchen that goes straight into the family room, dining room area. So it's gonna all just be mashed into one super basic. You're not even gonna get a door, which I mean, I guess you don't really need a door when it comes to the primary closet. You're gonna get the small covered patio space. You got two lights up here and then just a small little concrete pad. Uh, so that makes sense. Howdy folks, welcome back to another video. Today, we are headed over to Wolf Creek Farms. Hopefully I don't, f hopefully I don't drive over the side of this road into the curbs here. This is just a sketchy road right now going into this uh, neighborhood. A whole bunch of developments going on right. Oh, look at the size of this guy. Oh, geez, Louise. Yeah, that is, uh, that's a bit of a debacle around here. Yeah, the, the roads aren't doing so good. Now, they're updating some stuff around Melissa. Just know that if you're buying at Wolf Creek Farms, the road into the neighborhood is a bit sketch. Not the best road, but hopefully at some point they'll be updating. They're updating the roads on the outside of this neighborhood. It's just right now, everything along this area is just really just, is just really not good. Gets a little bit smoother once you get into the neighborhood here. So I've done a neighborhood tour over this community as well. So you can go back on my Melissa playlist and go check that out. But the uh, community is a little bit more built out than the last time I was around it. I do like the little hill that this neighborhood has that you can kind of see like a good majority of Melissa even further back into like the McKinney land out there, which is like a really cool thing to kind of look at. Now that being said, there are gonna be some pretty legit retaining walls. So we'll see what this one looks like today that we're doing a home tour over. It seems to be that it's located on like the flatter piece of land over here that's not on the hill. So shouldn't really be dealing with a lot of retaining walls kind of on the west side of the neighborhood. This home is gonna be a Meritage Reynolds floor plan. It's gonna be a five bed, three bath, a little over 3,000 square feet currently listed at five hundred and twelve thousand dollars at one hundred and sixty seven per square foot so I'll show you guys what a Meritage home looks like on the inside I've had some people kind of ask me about this builder and these floor plans within here this is Kirkdale these are trophy hold on my map is what's 13 that's 12 13 this is Meritage this is available this is the 1201 I need 1301. Where is 1301? Okay, hold on, hold on here. We're gonna have to make a loop-de-loop. -loop. We're gonna find it. Okay, they have quite a bit of homes available right now in this neighborhood as well. Okay, there's the 1201. Where is the third? Oh, it was across the street. It's this one on the corner, so we'll park across the street. All right. Okay, so let's go check out what this Meritage home looks like. Oh, somebody's driving. Don't want to get ran over by the work trucks. All right, so this one's actually at the bottom of the hill. Seems like when you go up this street, it gets some pretty legit elevation. All right, so with this floor plan, you're gonna have the single garage door. You got some windows up above on that second floor. And then this one has a small covered porch area here. They could probably put out some chairs and then they did like stone and then into brick up on this side, but decent size porch area. Now this home is facing south. So the front of this home is gonna get some good natural light, but the back of the home, not so much. Okay, so walking in, ceilings actually go up pretty high, which is kind of nice that they added that window up there as well to bring in some more light from that sun. So walkway here is gonna be pretty tight. You're not gonna really be able to put up any other tables or small little furnishings that you want to. Maybe you line this hallway up with some pictures, but that's about it. It goes back into the family room, kitchen on this backside, but let's walk to the first bedroom. So this space, you could use this as an office. You could, you could this is set up though for a bedroom. You have this within here with the carpet, the rest of the flooring in 
thing here is gonna be that luxury plank vinyl. And then you got the toilet and bathroom on that side. So the front of this house here, I wish this would have been just a little bit bigger of a window because since there's a covered porch, it's not gonna actually bring in as much light as it could. So just kind of think about that on your elevations that if you have like an office or a front bedroom space and you want a good amount of natural light coming into it, you might not wanna do the covered porch or you might wanna do the covered porch because it does make the elevation not look as like flat and has like a little bit of depth on it. This closet opens up with the double doors and then goes just a little bit further back with this closet rod with the shelf. And then the bathroom in here, pretty simple bathroom. They're missing the uh, sink, or maybe these are the new invisible sinks that I've been seeing in some of the, no, that's just missing the sink. All right, this one's tiled up with matching floor to shower, and then they got chrome fixtures set up on this one, and then you got a cabinet underneath that as well. Pretty standard bathroom in here, pretty basic, and then you got this towel rack as well set up and then goes back out into the hallway. On this side of the home is where the garage and the utility closet is. So for the garage in here, it's gonna be pretty small. You're really just gonna have room for your two cars. There's no other step up. I think you could put more shelves. They don't finish out these garages. So I think this is like a really cheap look. Now Meritage is gonna be on the cheaper end of builders and there's kind of reasons for that. So this is gonna be one of your reasons. This is the finish out for your garage, which just makes it really look unfinished and not that good. I mean, for half a million dollars, I would expect this to be finished out, but they don't do that. KB Homes doesn't do that, Meritage. I mean, I just find that in some of these neighborhoods, they don't do it. And then you got the tankless water heater, and then the water shutoff is also this right here to the home. And then the breaker is there as well, but very basic garage. I wish they really would have just finished out the walls. All right, this is the utility closet. I like the size of this, good space in here. It has one small window and then you got a closet rod, electrical plug for your dryer and then the washer would go right in this section. But good amount of room if you wanna put some more cabinets or more shelves or something else in this area, it is gonna provide that space too. Out here, this is like a small, not a mud room, but you could use this just in another area, maybe a shoe rack or something that goes along here. They have it like a little bit recessed in from like the hallway wall uh, with this closet. So maybe you put something up along that wall too. There's a little bit of space there. Underneath the stairs is this closet. So I like how this actually goes a little bit further back. It doesn't just stop here. So you do have the closet rod, a shelf, but you do have some more storage beneath the staircase. So they're utilizing that pretty well. All right, this is into the kitchen now. See if I can get a light. All right, this is the kitchen that goes straight into the family room, dining room area. So it's gonna all just be mashed into one. Now, the ceilings on this side are slanted up and go a little bit higher. So it does feel not crazy open within here, but it does feel a bit open. I think the lack of sunlight coming into this back area is why it's not feeling as open and airy, but at least the ceilings go up a little bit higher within here. So it makes this makes the dining room, makes the family room a little bit bigger. This would be, this side would be your family room area. So you'd have your couch maybe right here, have your TV maybe set up in the corner or up along this wall. And then this is the dining room area with these windows out on the side. And then you also have this window facing out towards the backyard there. The kitchen is set up pretty standard. You're gonna have the Whirlpool appliances. Now, the oven with the gas stove top is all connected, so you might not be a fan of this look. You might not care, but that's what's gonna be set up within some of these homes that they have, and then you have the microwave right above it. It's kind of giving apartment with this, because this is usually how like apartments are set up, but you know, with the price points, with the builder, like this is just what you're gonna get with some things, so you're gonna have to make a compromise kind of somewhere. They do have a good amount of cabinets, though. I will say that, so base cabinets, down and then I like the handles and the hardware that they actually picked for these. It has like a nice stainless steel look to it. Not, it's not coming off like crazy like chrome, but it is like a silver look. And then this is the type of sink I like. So they have these two split. Instead of it being a little bit deeper and not split, I'd rather have it just a little bit more shallow like this, but it being split in the middle. Now for this sink, they actually do have it fully chrome. It doesn't really match with anything else in here. I wish they would have matched this with the rest of the hardware because it kind of just clashes, but at least it's relatively around the same color. You have the dishwasher also on this side. And then let's see the size of this pantry. So pantry in here, not the biggest depth, but there is a bit of room to walk into it. And then they have one, two, three, four, five shelves stacked up here. So I think there's a good amount of shelves for this one 
and the space within that pantry, not too bad. This is where your fridge would go and then some more cabinets up above as well. And then this could be in like another area to kind of just put stuff out for like coffee or other storage that you want to use out for this countertop too. I think there is a good amount of space that when you're cooking something, you're going to be able to kind of prep over on both sides, which is nice because a good amount of counter space on here. And then the island goes over just a little bit. I mean, the chairs probably aren't gonna fit in flush with how this island space kind of hangs over. Not a huge hangover to it. There's not really a lot of area where it could kind of fit in. So your chairs are maybe gonna kind of be out just a little bit, but at least the island space isn't like over here where it's then gonna go into like the hallway. So they kind of separated that from the hallway and then you kind of have like your living and dining room area on this back side. There's also one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's like eight lights within here, which I feel like these lights are just too close to each other. Like, do we really need, do we really need that light? I mean, I get it. They have this light that's going right over the sink, but like maybe just a couple less lights within there because it just looks like the whole ceiling is just a bunch of lights right now. All right, and then into the back of the home, which is the primary bedroom. So primary bedroom ceilings are gonna go up just a little bit higher, about 10 foot within here. And then you've got these two windows that look out towards the backyard. And then let's walk into the bathroom. This is a good amount of space between these walls and the sink and the vanity area over here. Not a huge space. Okay, don't get me wrong, but I do feel like it's a little bit more wide. I do find that sometimes these sinks are a little bit closer and these walls are a little bit closer. That's a little bit more narrow through this hallway, but I feel like there's a good amount of space. This is also interesting. They set this up with just the shower, which I don't mind this. Like I'm starting to find more families. I've said this in a couple of my other videos, doing just the shower instead of doing like the tub and the shower. But for this floor plan, they have it set up with this walk-in shower. Now I would recommend that you do tile this flooring because this does make it look very cheap when they just go with this basic kind of pad on the bottom with it painted white. It doesn't look as good as that having it actually tiled. So I would recommend doing that. They got chrome fixtures set up on this one and then you get one window that actually kind of brings in some more light for the shower. The two sinks are split pretty good with this middle area with drawers and you get the cabinets underneath. You get this closet that actually goes a little bit further back. So good amount of space in here, which honestly, like why not just bring this closet back more like where this is like here and then it gives me more room. It feels this, this bathroom feels more open. I feel like they could have done that instead of bringing it out this far or at least bring it to like where this shower is. I mean, that could have been like another six inches right there of just making it feel a little bit bigger within this bathroom. Over on this side is the toilet. So pretty basic toilet, nothing really crazy there. And then this goes into the closet area. So these closets are going to be super small, super basic. You're not even going to get a door, which I mean, I guess you don't really need a door when it comes to the primary closets. I mean, majority of these homes, you're gonna have a door here, but they didn't set that up on this one. They just have it like a walkway into the closet, which I actually don't mind. That's not a huge deal to me, but what you are gonna mind is the lack of kind of closet rods in space within this one. You're probably gonna have to add some shelves, kind of probably have to add maybe some more rails here and there because not a whole bunch of room within that closet. All right, let's walk out to the backyard, show you guys this covered patio. So here's what the backyard looks like. So you're gonna get this small covered patio space. You got two lights up here and then just a small little concrete pad and then not a huge depth. You probably would be able to add maybe a pool on this backside, but there is still enough room for like your pets, your animals. And then the side yard just goes down a little bit, but pretty tight along there. All right, and then let's go upstairs now. So that's the first floor and what that looks like. So you get the two bedrooms, maybe use that front as an office space, maybe use one of the rooms up here as an office space. It goes into full carpet on this secondary and then up here as well, they have another look, they have a look over into the entryway there. So I like this, they didn't just wall this off. So it's that front is gonna bring in some more light into this loft game room area here. That's what you could use this space as, just a big game room, big loft area, have your TV up along this wall. This is the front of the house now, same type of bedroom as that first floor one, same type of closet space that they have set up here. And then going a little bit further, you have this bathroom that's kind of split. So be private for people over there. And then you have these two sinks. So not a whole bunch of storage underneath, Right, I see some of these vanities split a little bit bigger. I think I would have liked this to actually 
go a little bit further and then have less space within this bathroom. I mean, there's a good amount of space within this one with the uh, shower and the toilet and then you get this towel closet, but I think I would have rather like more sink space and counter space rather than like a bigger closet here. There's also no door on this. It looks like there should be a door. I don't know what they got against doors, but I guess they're just trying to keep it cheaper for people. The thing is like the door would be nice here because if you have people and you're entertaining guests, like you don't want them to kind of completely see like you just, you would just have to keep this really nice and organized for people to come in here. I feel like instead of like having a door here where like no one's really going to see the inside of all of this. So it's just like keeping up with it and making it more organized. I'd rather have seen a door here and just making that all closed off so that that can kind of be whatever you do have a window. Window on the front here brings a lot of light because this home is facing south. They didn't tile up all the way to the ceiling, which they don't really do in a Meritage home when I'm finding, even when they have like inventory homes. This is a little confined space. And this is just really gonna be used for storage. Maybe you put some shelves along this wall or maybe another type of rail to kind of hang up some more things. But that's just an oversized closet on this side. And then you have this bedroom which kind of interesting how they put the closet here, but that's how they have this room set up. So closet spaces are all gonna be about the same. Bedrooms are gonna be all about the same. Now, this one does feel a little bit bigger because of all the windows along here. I feel like the dimension of this bedroom is the same as that first floor, but the first floor one wasn't getting as good of light coming into it as this one up here. And that's just because of the two windows. And then you get this side window as well. All right, and then across from that one is another bedroom. Now this one does feel bigger, in the sense of the dimension, but also there's not a lot of light coming into this one. So it does feel a bit more claustrophobic, but I would say about the same size. You got this window over on the side of the home and then same size closet as all the other bedrooms. So nothing different there. And then that little door right there is into like your attic. It's like a small little crawl space. Okay, so that is gonna do it for the Reynolds floor plan and showing you guys what $512,000 could potentially buy you over here in Wolf Creek Farms. If you have any questions about Meritage Homes or Trophy Signature, those are, the, those are the two builders that are within this neighborhood. Please send me a text or give me a call. Would love to help you out on your home search with you and your family. Other than that, peace out y'all and take it easy as always. Thanks for checking out my channel and watching that video. I got more videos floating around here. If you're in the market to buy or sell real estate in the DFW area, contact me, Daniel, at the Home Expert Team. I will be happy to answer any of your questions. Uh, besides that, uh, bye.